Hi, Jim Gray here. You know, uh, I've been a world martial arts champion. I have also ran an extremely successful martial arts school, well over 300 members between the 80s and 90s. I also created one of the most popular martial arts fitness programs in the world, Cardio Karate, certified over 6,000 instructors in five years. And then followed that up with what I consider my crown jewel is my ultimate body challenge, UBC and now UBC on Zoom. Guys, let's talk about this for a second. If you're watching this video, it's probably right after Christmas, 27th, 28th, or even maybe after the new year. But we're all thinking about goals. And most of us are gonna set fitness goals, especially to, you know, 2021, as we come off of 2020, where a lot of us did a lot of sitting around and probably eating and drinking a little more than we should have. So what's our option? Teach at the UBC since 2000. It's been licensed by over 500 facilities in three different countries. And I've been saying this a long time, ever since its creation. Vanity is short-lived. And what do I mean by that? In other words, you're obsessed, <laughs> most likely, of how you look in the mirror. Even probably even more than how you feel. Because you eat crappy food, you slowly but surely start feeling like crap. But it's how you look in the mirror. That's vanity. You want to look better. So what do you do? You decide to go out and make a change. You go to the gym, or you go to some other type of exercise program, or you, you buy a fad diet, or you do a home study course. But then for the majority of us, we're not gonna stick with it because vanity is short-lived. That desire to change that you see in the mirror will get you through the door. It won't get you the results you're looking for. So what's gonna keep us Involved. What's going to get the results that you're looking for? You go to a fitness gym and you walk in there and all of a sudden you have all this equipment, all these things that, yeah, sure, they can get you in shape, but what do I do? How many do I do? How do I structure it? All that type of thing. And of course, whatever gym you pick is going to have plenty of people are going to tell you how to do it and guide you. And but one person's going to say one thing, another person's going to say another. And what are they all trying to do? Upsell you to their personal training package. That's what separates a martial arts school, but also separates the UBC from other programs. Realize we have coaches, no different than in martial arts, where higher ranking students volunteer to guide lower ranking students, not trying to upsell them, it's just part of the process. The UBC was created with that same mindset because I took the principles of martial arts schools and applied it to fitness where people who've gotten great results, and we have gotten some great results over the last 20 some odd years of the UBC, are volunteering to help guide you. So their own desire is to help motivate themselves to keep training, but also everybody feels better about giving and helping others. So you create that community. If everyone's kind of going in the same direction, everybody has similar goals, and everybody is being held accountable in a positive way, a consistent, like, a, you know, like martial arts, a curriculum, it's surprising the goals that you can achieve and how much easier it is for you to achieve them. Also, creating relationships. You know, again, you walk into the gym and unless you're the, you know, the hottie or the, the 25 year old stud, not a lot of people are paying attention to you. And having been in the fitness industry, when I did cardio karate and traveled the world and you know, went to all the major uh, fitness conventions, it's a different animal altogether. You know, fitness is usually based on exactly what I talked about, vanity. You know, get you to buy now, buy that video, do it while you're feeling fat or feeling out of shape or feeling bad about yourself. And then whether you stick with it or not, it's not their problem. One of the biggest mistakes I made when I started the UBC is when I created my coaches, I looked for the person who did look the best in the mirror because they were really in great shape and some of them had come from the fitness industry. But the challenge was they were more interested at looking at themselves in the mirror than helping others. And what I have learned, and the coaches here are here to help you. Instead of looking in the mirror at themselves, they're looking and trying to find someone who needs help with maybe a strength and condition exercise or proper execution of a kick on a bag. That's what the UBC is all about. Yes, we're gonna do a complete fitness evaluation. We're gonna test your upper body strength, your abdominal strength, your cardiovascular. 
We're going to set a five week goal, a 10 week goal. What makes it so great is going to be based on your age and your gender. You're not competing with anybody but yourself. So everybody's going you know, again on the same journey. We combine the fitness kickboxing classes and then the next day utilizing strength tubing. The strength tubing is so wonderful because yes, it's going to make you stronger, but it's also going to burn those extra calories. We also focus on flexibility, something most of us neglect. Uh, unless you're in a class and someone's guiding you to stretch, you probably don't do it nearly as much as you do. That's a big part of the UBC. And then of course, sound nutrition. Not a diet plan to lose a bunch of weight in a short period of time, a diet plan that's impossible for you to stick to over long periods of time, but understand the correlation between exercise and nutrition. That your goal is to build lean muscle tissue and to understand you have to feed that lean muscle tissue with good food. And what, that's what we're gonna be talking about. This is not, you know, get in shape quick scheme. It's a program, a life program, focused in 10 weeks to create those good habits. To then, you know, maybe not as focused or as diligent as in these 10 weeks as we try to achieve those fitness goals, but a life plan a plan that we can continue and focus on and understand for the rest of our life what it takes to get fit. I'm Jim Graydon, and I really would love to see you in my classes along with my coaches. And uh, let's go on that fitness journey. Let's go on that fitness journey together and let's get the results that you want. You know you want. You look in the mirror. Again, it's not going to be enough. Combine this with this and you will get the results you're looking for.